Cecil Fortier start coming into the final stage, leads the rally by the near Behind the stand now, and pretty soon they will enter the stadium. Here they come. And all the They have fought for this, they have battled for this all day long. They are coming in as the rally leaders. Are they going to turn the form of the round and give Sassel a victory on their very turn, on their very own rally? Final then, here they come, mid round of applause, Mark Lanier and Robert Houghton finish the 2012 Sassel rally in their Sassel Ford Fiesta. Now they only have to wait until Johnny Gemmell and Carolyn Swan come through. We will be the stage time for you as soon as we get them. Remember that that, that, that gap is 2.8 seconds. So uh, no respect here by, uh, by Mark and Robin. And uh, yeah, it is indeed a bit of a testing stage. Next up will be Johnny Gemmell and Carolyn Swan. The cast off the under all training around 2.8 seconds. Can they catch up? Can they turn that one around? Unlikely, but possible. Forty-three point seven seconds. That's the time set by Mark Lanier. Forty-three point seven seconds. Which basically means that if Johnny Gemmell and uh, Carolyn Swan can do a stage time of 40 seconds, they can take the lead. It's unlikely, as I said, but possible. And away they go. Can they do it? Want to with your help, if you're a Fiona supporter, maybe your help to make a difference. They've got 2.8 seconds to make up. It's going to be very, very difficult to make the noise. They led virtually the entire rally just to lose the lead in the penultimate stage. Only a few more turns to do. One more turn to go. Come on, let's hear it for Johnny Gamble, Carolyn Swan, Castle, Fiona Orris. Have they done it? 43.7 seconds the time to beat, but they have to beat it by more than 2.8 seconds. It's a big, big, big arc. Meanwhile, the next car in will be the DP4 driving solo of Hans Weiss Jr. and Bjorn Degam. They are currently in a safe and solid third position overall coming into the final stage. Well, I can tell you that they tried, and they tried very hard, but it was not to be the stage time that they had to beat was 43.7 seconds. Johnny Gemmell and Carolyn Swan only three steps slower, 44 days. And that means that we have a Sasso winner on the Sasso Rally. Yeah, well, somebody's had to run. <laughs> Right, this will be a very, very good performance if they can uh, hold on to the finish line. Hans Weiss from, from the Netherlands and Bjorn Degan from Belgium, Belgium on a program where Volkswagen, uh, South Africa and Volkswagen Germany work together to develop these youngsters for participation in the World Rally Championship next year. And they will be on the podium Four on the photo of Hans Weiss Jr. and Bjorn Degon on a speed of up into the stage. Here they come. Let's give them a very warm South African welcome to the end of a very successful Castle Radcliffe film for the DP photo, the four thousand photo of Hans Weiss Jr. and Bjorn Degon around the corner of the country. Big round of applause, and they've done it!
Right, the next car is to the stage. Many people's favourite rally driver, Jan Hubbard, this year with the Maserine Ford Fiesta team. And along with his uh, long-time navigator, Robert Paisley, currently in fourth position overall. And uh, they will be the fourth car into the final stage. They will, uh, they, came, they come into the stage with a deficit of 29.5 seconds behind the BP Polo. I doubt that they are going to do any heroic, they certainly just want to finish and get a good solid finish behind their name. And with these seconds, they will enter the stage. Jan Hadek, a multiple winner on the Central Rally. Four hours, the first driver for Paul Gargan. Now with the full stage, there they come. Mazarin, Paul Fiesta. We'll make it the second Ford in the top four. And this man is the very spectacular, doesn't matter where he goes. That's why people love it. Look at that, it goes around the final corner. And let's give him a big warm welcome to the finish. Jan Havelin, Havelin and Robert Paisley. Right, there we go. So a big round of applause. They will be pulling off now for fourth place finishers. Young Harvey, Robert Paisley, the Basil Reed Ford Fiesta. Next up, the second of the Sassel Ford Fiesta. So this is another opportunity to make some noise. Should be uh, next uh, car through. Should be John Williams and Kubrick Ray. The second the Castle Ford Fiesta. Just uh, want to make sure of that. And indeed it is. Here they come behind the. So your second opportunity to make a lot of noise as the Castle Ford Fiesta of John Williams and Kubrick Ray. Nice performance there. Especially coming to look out for in the future. Right, let's welcome them home in the Sato Ford Fiesta finishing in a fifth position overall on the Sato Race Fiesta. What a way to finish, well done. So uh, Sassel getting both their cars in inside the top six, I think that's a very, very worthwhile performance. They will be very happy about that. Yeah. Right, the next car into the stage. The first car that is not in its competitive position. They are six on the road, Yavi Funikak and Karan Snowman in the NAG Ford Wagon Polo, but they unfortunately dropped from six overnight to come into this stage in the tenth position overall. Generally a nice guy, the fastest brother in Africa, Zulu Zulu, along with Carl Menchen. They will go to the And if they keep going, they will be finishing in sixth position overall. There they come. 
And nobody will be bored to receive that good to get to the finish line. And after such a fantastic performance, to finish in sixth position overall, the BB4 Garden Polo. Wait for them to uh, just get all the large formalities done. The next car into the stage will be the team total here, the Oris of Joki Danzo. And